Just north of Dunedin, near the sleepy seaside settlement of Karatane, lies the Huriawa Peninsula. Once a fortified path site, nowadays this stunning coastal walk is a place where visitors can come and soak up their history. Who claimed settlement was made in um, 1997 and was signed. Um, this site of Huriawa, the Te Pā Te Wera, where we're standing, was one of the important sites which was returned by the Crown to Ngaitahu. The name of our gateway is Te Akitanga. We're trying to talk about reconciliation, reuniting, um, bringing the people together. Uh, we wanted to ensure that all those who walked through the gateway would be looked after. Um, we have on this side the kōhatu is Tangaroa or Takaroa, the South Island dialect, guardian of the sea. And then comes over with the rainbow and you end up with Tane Mahuta, guardian of the forest. If you turn and then you look out at the, the head there of the peninsula, we call that Te Upoko Te Wera, and we say that that is Te Wera's head. If you look at the, his kanohi, you can really see him looking out. A boy and a girl of this pa, they fell in love, but the families of the pa were against their union. And so what they did is they, um, they loved each other so much, they, they eloped. And while they were away, she became hapu, pregnant. So they came home. And in their minds, pictures of walking in and being embraced by the families and loved, um, it was not like that. And what ended up happening is they were taken up to the top of the puke and as they were cursed, the wahine was thrown. And she landed there. And as the tane was cursed and he was thrown, and he landed over there. And if you look, you can see her lying there and she's still hapu. The whaling station here, of course, was where they could tow the whales back in after they'd harpooned them here into the relative shelter of the, of the estuary or the river mouth. They'd haul them up on their big um, gantries and flens them and do all their stuff. But the impact of that whaling went far beyond those years because that was the time when many of the local Ngaitahu um, took partners from amongst the European whalers who were here. And so many of today's people uh, just trace their descent from those unions. 